Hey everyone, my name is Diana and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, thanks for clicking on this and I'm glad to have you. If this is not your first time here, welcome back. Um, today I created a look that I got inspiration for while I was in Valencia um, over spring break. I was fortunate enough to go and visit two of my really good friends who are studying abroad in Valencia, Spain. And while I was there, I noticed that the women there would do a very light eye and then they would do a really bold lip. And so I decided to put my spin on it and just create a look for you guys. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so today I'm going to be taking Porefessional uh, Primer um, to go ahead and prime my face to get ready for foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of that on my fingers and then work it into my skin. Next, I'm going to be taking my Rimmel London Lasting Finish 25 Hour and I'm going to be putting that all over my face to use this as my foundation. Then I'm going to take a damp beauty sponge and I'm going to blend all of that out so that way my skin is nice and even. From here I'm going to be taking my Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline and I'm going to go ahead and begin to highlight my face with this. So I'm going to go ahead and put it underneath my eyes and then on the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, and my chin, and then a little on my cupid's bow. Looking cute. Now I'm going to blend all of that out with another damp beauty sponge. Then I'm going to be setting my face today with my Maybelline Fit Me Powder. So I'm going to be taking that on my LA Colors brush and I'm going to be patting that all over my face in order to set it. For contouring today, I'm going to be taking my cream contour kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills and then I also have some beauty oil that I'm going to be putting two drops into the center color and then I'm going to be taking a flat brush, I don't know the name of it because it's a really old brush, and I'm going to mix that in and then from there I'm going to go ahead and begin to contour my cheekbones. So I'm going to be putting the product right below where my cheekbones are and a little bit on them just so that way I can go ahead and get a shadow. And then I'm also going to be contouring my forehead. And I'm going to contour my nose just a little bit to give it um, a little bit more of a slender appearance. Also going to be contouring my lips so what I'm doing right now is just creating a little bit more of a shadow and then I'm going to be contouring on top of my lips also to make them a little bit appear a little bit larger than they are I'm gonna take that same beauty sponge and use the other end and I'm gonna go ahead and blend all of that out
All right, I'm gonna be adding just a little bit more product onto my nose, so that way I can have more of a shadow so it will appear a little bit more slender as I said before. And to blend this out, I'm going to be taking my Adriwine Concealer and I'm going to be placing that right next to where the contour um, is. And then I'm going to be taking a damp beauty sponge and I'm going to blend the con or the concealer, excuse me. I'm going to be blending the concealer into the contour cream. So that way I'm not actually blending away the uh, contour product. And then I'm going to go ahead and set my nose one more time just to make sure that throughout the day if I get oily or something like that, um, it won't slide around or move. And then since I have quite a bit of powder on, I'm going to be spraying my face just to set it. And then I'm going to be taking my beauty sponge and just dabbing all of that into my skin. Now for brows, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Perfect Brow Pencil and I'm going to uh, move my brow hair up and then go ahead and fill in. Then I'm going to be taking the spoolie end and brushing all of that product through and I'm going to be doing my other eyebrow off camera. Now I'm taking my Rema London Radiant Brick Bronzer and I'm going to be just going over everywhere that I put the contour cream. Now I'm taking an angled brush. It's a pretty small one and I'm going to go into the bronzer and then I'm going to go over my nose contour. highlighter today I'm taking show me your glow and I'm putting that on my Luxie 660 brush and I'm going to go ahead and highlight my face Also taking that highlighter onto my nose and then I'm gonna go in with my finger and put that on my cupid's bow For blush, I'm going to be using So Susan Blush and Glow, and I'm going to be using my uh, Crown uh, Blush Brush. So I'm going to take a little bit of that, tap off the excess, and then just put that on the apples of my cheeks to give myself a little bit of color. For the eyes, I'm taking my Too Faced Naked Eye and I'm using only the top row because I want this to be a fairly light look. Now I'm using the color Like a Virgin and I'm placing that in my crease and I'm using my Morphe M433 brush. Next, I'm using the color Pillow Talk, and I am putting that on my lid, and I'm just using a flat brush, so you can just use any flat brush that you have. Reaching for, reaching for, reaching for, reaching for. 
using that same flat brush, I just wiped it off um, before I did this, I'm going in with the color in the buff for my highlight on my brow bone. It's very subtle, nothing too crazy. Now I'm taking my highlighter again and I'm using a very small uh, flat brush and I'm going to be putting that on the inner corner of my eye just to highlight it. For the lower lash line, I'm going to be taking uh, Like a Virgin on my Ivy Y Beauty Brush and I'm just going to take that right on my lower lash line just to give my eyes a little bit more dimension. For eyeliner today, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Curvitude eyeliner pencil and I'm just going to be doing my regular uh, routine for this. Then I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Eye Studio gel pot and I'm just going to be going over everything that I just did and then bringing it in just a tiny bit more on my eyelid and I'm only going to be showing my right eye on camera and went ahead and did my left off of camera. I'm also going to go ahead and put on some false lashes off camera. If you guys would like to see how I do this, just let me know. Now I'm going to be taking the Fenty Beauty. I'm so excited about using this um, lip product. I've been wanting to try it out for so long, so I'm so excited to finally try it. I love, love the red shade. So here we go. Hey guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely had a good time filming this for you guys. Um, please let me know if you like this type of video better than the videos that I've been doing. Um, just leave in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.